Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting ring to episode 10 of Dread on the Princess of Snow and Blood. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Ah, crows. Yeah, be lucky he ain't, he, he ain't gonna kill you, kid, because, like, ooh. Ooh. Oh, damn. Ooh. I mean, I thought you would have let him live, but damn. If only y'all didn't let Asahi die. So this had to be before, yeah, she came in, did that. We saw the mark of dude and ish. Big old traitor. Like, what the? <laughs> I mean, this. <laughs> done with this show and we got in traitor on traitor on traitor on traitor i mean god dang is there not going to be one episode where we don't have a traitor among traitors like oh my god <laughs> like everybody you're dead you're alive you dead anybody else gonna die i mean because shit like oh my god oh this complicated but you know what i love it <laughs> But, I mean, mm. you know so I'm going to have a damn conversation with him. Like, what the fuck? <sighs> she might even kill him today. I, you know, because honestly, I wouldn't be surprised because of the fact is, like, okay, in the beginning, yeah, he seemed like the biggest a-hole and then like go back to like what last week or the week before where he was like where saw was about to kill herself and he was there to like tell her no that you need to live and then this happens <laughs> I, I kill him i'm sorry like no mm-mm Excuse me. Damn, y'all got goats in here? Shit. How? How are you going to get out? No, he's going to use it on himself. <laughs> Where? How do you even know you're going to get out? Oh, damn, that was quick. got out. 
But still, where are you going to go? Something tells me you cannot get that far. It's a wall. Yep, mm hmm. <laughs> At least you tried. I mean, damn. Huh? <clears throat> yeah, I think in the end you're going to be what he is. Yeah, I mean, do you really want to die? Well, god damn. Are we ever going to see your face, though? You know, honestly, I never would have thought that we would have gotten to see, like, a backstory on him. But, I mean, it makes the most sense. I mean, we know you do it because... from one damn bottle of wine? Jesus. Probably just took him fucking hours just to do. Well, at least it's spotless. Your name. Yeah, but then at the same time, y'all doing something greater. Like, I mean, let's go back to fucking present day!
Now you're starting to look like yourself. Mm. Exactly! <laughs> and Gabe, what are you doing with Soma? I mean, shit! This had to be the woman he fell in love with. We all know she's probably going to die by the end of this episode. Yep, all but one. Technically, really two if we count the brother, but you know, the brother ends up dying way later on.
Now, see, it makes me wonder. Has he ever um, truly told someone about this? Probably not. Because I think even if he does tell her, she's probably going to be like, oh, you're lying. Da, 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 let me kill you anyway. to be with Sawa Yuki. <laughs> no. about to happen, isn't it? Mm. That's a fucked up way to go. And of course it happens so fucking quickly. This is how to get the fuck out. Oh, he coming, but not for food. <laughs> He wouldn't leave these three for last anyway. Just to now know. That it was him? Oh my god. Can't do it.
Mm. Oh. You know Sawa gonna kill you, right? Like, come on now. You know she gonna kill you after what she did. Oh, fuck. Until she kills it. And then after that. Yes. <laughs> Y'all did not just do that. <laughs> Y'all did not just say Megan didn't. You didn't do that. No, 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 no. You did not just give me the did you, did you kill him and then was like we're ending abruptly. Come on now. <laughs> Like, oh my god, but okay, Jin, what the fuck, oh my god, but the fact is that, you know, between him and his friend, he was the only one who made it out, the potential that he had, and that, you know, he, he ended up coming, you know, a new executioner, and ended up killing, you know, not someone who I would, in a way, consider a quote-unquote father figure for him, just like, someone who he got close to up until the point where he's like, okay, I'm going to betray you, I'm going to kill you, and I'm going to make Sawa, like, my apprentice. So, um, because in a way, Jin was um, Kotodama's apprentice up until Jin killed him. So we're kind of getting that same thing. So it would be, it would make the most sense for Sawa to kill Jin to, like, end that. And, and then in the end, yes, she kills herself by the final episode, and then she's with Asahi, and then I can cry because that's all I need right now. I mean, this show, oh, this show, I mean, like, oh, my God, like, once again, this is a very good, underrated AF show, because sometimes, like, it goes one way, and then it goes a completely different, like, way, and I'm like, bro, what the fuck is this? But it's good, and I hate the fact that there's not, um, necessarily a lot of people who talk about this show, because it has... It has the potential to be really, really good, but I think because of so many different contenders that are all airing in the season, and we are, like, I think about, what, two, three weeks almost out of spring, or being done with spring, because I think, yeah, by the end of June, officially this month, okay, we should be done with all the spring animes going into summer, um, but, I'm like, oh yeah, um, so about that kill. Sawa is about to gut and just slice and dice all up on that man. I mean, oh, you killed her mom. Everyone, you killed everybody in that town. Everyone except her brother because you, you slashed at her brother, but he, you know, miraculously survived and, you know, he became um, a sword for what's-his-face and such but like still you killed everyone else and the fact is that even till today present day and now that Sawa you know has found out the truth about him and everything even though he hasn't answered how can you look someone in the face now knowing that they're the one who killed everybody in your village how could you not like oh guy like mm couldn't be me like, like straight up i mean i understand yes he didn't want to get tortured and um experienced on just as much as like everybody else was and that his you know his only other friend who he had was like you know what i'm just gonna kill myself instead of like still being here and such because it's either execution by killing myself or just getting tortured and ultimately dying by the hands of these doctors so i mean it, it's damned if you do damned if you don't and so even though Jin and the road that he chose 
to me wasn't the best it was still the best for him it was either death or starting a new life but damn i mean bro you about to die everybody's dying i mean <laughs> oh really like yeah everybody gonna be dead by the end of this damn series <laughs> these cold-blooded killers all right like no the only one who like still probably is going to have a happy ending is elena that's it she's probably gonna be the only one who's gonna survive and then like saw what she's gonna have her happy ending by finally being reunited with not only asahi her brother and her family but and then also you know nana dying as well because as their promise you know as she i cannot speak as she promised a couple of episodes ago it's already gonna be you know okay we're already knowing that by the end of the series she is going to die and i don't know i think what we got like two more weeks with this show possibly so we just gotta wait and see but other than that guys that is my reaction view towards episode 10 of john and the princess of snow and blood if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like it really helps me out also subscribe to my channel i make videos every single day join the master squad and of course i will see you guys officially y'all next tuesday for episode 11 bye guys